Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have my BoxyCharm base box for August. I apologize, my dog is eating behind me. I can hear her, I don't know if you can hear, but she's eating, so excuse the noise. But yeah, this is the $25 base box. I do have a referral link, I'll leave it down below if I remember to put it down there. And yeah, let's just jump in. Let's see what we got. This came to yesterday. Today is Friday the 13th, so. Go All Out is the theme. Here's the card. I'm not going to look at the back just yet. Um, I have variation C2108013 BA. Okay. So let me pull out the item that I chose, which is the iconic London bronzer. This month I had the same problem. I got on there a little bit late, so some of the options were already taken, but I don't mind trying new bronzers. I don't have that many um, single bronzers. Most of my bronzers are in face palettes, um, the multi-use palette, so this is in medium. I did get a like a sculpting trio last month, but I don't mind. It doesn't really have a smell. Um, here's what it looks like. It's just a matte bronzer. That. This for me would probably be more of a contour if you can see it. It's This is a good contour shade. I like going in with like a matte bronzer to contour and then something that's a little bit shimmery to blend it out. But the color's good. It's not too orange so it's a nice big pan. That retails for $35 so I'm not mad at that. Like I said I don't have many single bronzers even my contour most of them are in palette so it's nice to have that we have a spray this is the manica dar hydrating face mist what does it say on here soothe and refresh tired skin with a mist that prep skin for a hydrating base before makeup application this might mighty mix of minerals wakes up skin i have um a smashbox primer water that you can use before or after and I like using that sometimes. I got that probably two years ago. I still have some of it but I will use this. I like sprays so and I definitely need the hydration. Shake well. Mist two to four times. So I'm, I'm happy to try that and this retails for $19 so not mad at that. I like sprays. Let's see. We got a Clara's Advanced Vitamin E, HA, and Hyaluronic Acid. It's a hydrating serum. This retails for $24.99. I'm going to leave this in the bottle just because I have a bunch of serums at my house. Unless my daughter decides she wants to use it before then. But that's what it looks like. But I'm not going to open it up just yet. I'll leave it sealed until we get to it. There's another, this is a Volition Hibiscus Unspottable Correcting Oil. So if you've got discoloration, I'm assuming. Daily treatment oil with hibiscus flower and licorice root to minimize the appearance of dark spots and discoloration as it soothes and new nourishes. I think that word's supposed to be nourishes, but that's not what they put on there. This retails for $49. This I'll save. I'll see if my daughter wants this. I don't really have dark spots and I don't have discoloration, so I don't really need this. My daughter's almost 15. Um, she does have some redness. She gets some areas that get a little bit red, so she may want to try this. If not, I'll save it and pass it on to somebody else because I just don't really have a need for that. And then the last thing, I'm kind of excited that I got. There was a couple of different eyeshadow palettes. This is from Dido Cosmetics. This is the limited edition Venus palette, and this retails for $29.99. Now, I did have their Galaxy palette, and I did do a video where I tested it out finally. It looked really cool, but it was one of those things, like, it looked pretty, but 
the kind of mix of mattes and shimmers that were in it. It was hard to do a cohesive look with it and then some of the textures were weird. So I ended up decluttering it. So I am glad to try something from them again. Let me, there's tape. There was another palette that I wouldn't have minded getting. I think it was a Laura Geller palette, but I'm not mad at this if I can get it open. Ending the cardboard. They really like, wanna make sure that that thing is not coming off. Goodness. I don't know that the sticker, whoop, and I broke the pen, that the sticker needs to be that, it's an eyeshadow palette. I got it off, but I don't, like I snapped the pen. Does the sticker need to be that sticky on an eyeshadow palette? I don't think it does. It's not like food. I'm not trying to, and I got adhesive all over me. Anyway, I mean, technically we are trying to keep it fresh, but Good Lord. Okay, so let's see. The packaging is really pretty. I don't know if they did a palette for all of the planets. I know there's an Earth palette because I looked at that one um, when I bought the Galaxy. And this is pretty. Um, there are some of like the textures, like this one that um, my eyelids are a little bit hooded and um, creasy. So some of the ones like this in the Galaxy palette looked weird on me, but we'll try it again. I do like that the mattes are at least cohesive. Um, looks like there's some satins. It looks like these three are like true mattes and then these ones are like, these ones coming around here are satiny shades. Um, this looks like a shimmery color, Mars has some like textural, let's see. I am gonna use this and then if I don't want it, I'll give it to my daughter. So there's that one, that's Mars. So that one with the little beads in it. And then this is the glittery one. This one is pretty. This one doesn't seem quite as like weird and chunky as some of the ones. It's, that's pretty. So I'm excited to try this. And again, if I don't end up using it more than a couple of times, my daughter will take it. But I do like that I, I feel like looking at it, I can get a cohesive look with just this palette. Whereas the Galaxy palette, as pretty as it was, was difficult to get a cohesive look. So I'm happy to try their brand again. So that's everything that I got in the box. So we got, and I'm, I'm glad I got an eyeshadow palette. I think some, you know, this is sticky. Goodness gracious. Um, not everybody got eyeshadow palettes. And I feel like it's one of those things where if you're going to have a couple of different ones, everybody should get one. I hate that one. I get like skincare heavy boxes and there's options for like palettes and stuff and then just not everybody gets one anyway so we got the eyeshadow palette um the bronzer the hydrating serum and then the face mist and then this one i'll see if chloe wants it the correcting well, so I don't think it was a bad box. I got a few makeup items and some skincare, so it was a decent mix. I'll have to look and see where the rest of that pen went, but yeah, not a bad box. Let me know what you got in your box. Were you happy with it? I think this month I've been seeing like mixed opinions on people getting good boxes, people getting bad boxes, but let me know what you thought of my box, let me know. If you got BoxyCharm still, if you were happy, I'm still getting an adhesive off my finger. Um, if you were happy with your box. So yeah, leave me comments down below. I am gonna film um, a update video on what I've been doing right after this. So if anybody has any questions, that video should go up right after this. So yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure you subscribe before you leave and hopefully I will see you all in another video very, very soon. Bye, everybody.